Okay everybody, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use World Edit. Okay, before we go, um, let's start off by saying I'm Rick now. Alrighty. Now to start, before we start using this, we'll just go over to an open area. Pull up the chat box and start with um, one slash. Just get it for a second to load and up there. Now to use the world edit command you're actually going to use two slashes and then you'll have all of the commands. We're going to start by using the first two commands slash slash one and two. So we're going to go ahead and put down one there. And then notice it says first position set to 11.38.14.8.45 That is one corner of like a cube, cube section. Now we're going to come over here. Oops, no, actually we're going to go over here to this side and come down here and we'll make a section slash slash two now that would make second position and then you have cuboid selected which means you have selected 31,573 blocks now to actually get the world edit to work with the selection just move out of the way just a sec or an area Hold on there. <clears throat> you're going to do slash slash and then um, Right down here, down the bottom, actually, it's set. Right there. So, set. And then the block. Lots of times, the block ID, you can use the block ID for numbers. So, stone is one, grass is two, dirt is three, etc. I'm going to just use stone to keep things simple. Or if you want, you can use a complex block like that. I have no idea what that is. Let's find out. And it will set the block. Now you have... Um, yeah, that kind of block, similar to stone. Like that. And if you ever accidentally make a mistake while doing the selection, in Minecraft Pocket Edition there is no undo button. What you can do to erase that is to use set zero. Zero is the ID for air, and it will turn everything in that selection to air. Now, <clears throat> let's go on to the next command. Actually, you can also use V. That stands for World Edit. Oh, and you have a whole list of other commands. Well, that it, or you don't need to type out the whole thing as you know slash slash. We're going to next learn how to use complex set commands. So I'm going to go on the ground. I'm just going to break the block so I can make a position here. So I'm going to make a complex, a complex selection, and I'll show you what I mean by that in a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and make position one. Uh, this is fine. Position 2. Just like that. Now, step out of the hole. Now, complex command. We're going to begin by using set. Now, how about we use it between... We're actually going to be making a mixture of blocks, and I'll show you in just a sec. How about stone and stone number one equals stone and we'll do five. Five is the ID for um, oops, my bad. five is the ID for oak wood planks. Now you notice 
You might think that's what you do, but it's actually not. You're actually going to have to put a comma with no spaces between the numbers and stuff like that. Now set it. Now you have a mixture. I am currently unsure if it's possible to use three blocks, and I'm actually going to find out. After you use the set command, you can you still have the same selection selected, so you can just run the same set command again and it will change. Let's find out. Let's do one. Let's do stone, five, and grass. It didn't look like anything happened. Let's try it one more time just to see. Um, let's do... Stone and grass. Let's do just one, two, three. Okay, I guess it only does the first two numbers in the selection. But that's okay, you have a pretty good looking pattern. Now, let's just erase that. Let's turn it back into grass. Now, we're going to learn copy and paste. Now, I don't really know what he's doing, but I'm going to copy and paste this. Now to copy, you have to set the first position on the ground. The first position has to be on the ground. Okay. Put three slashes on the ground. Go up, make sure you get the whole thing. That should be good. Now, before you do the copy commands, you're actually going to go right up next to it to block. You have to be right up next to it. And then, because when you paste it, it will be pasted like right there. So, we're going to start by doing copy. You can name it whatever you want. So, it looked like it was just dragon, so we'll just do dragon. And I don't exactly know why, but you have to put a G right after that, otherwise it won't work. Click dragon copy. As far as I know, in Minecraft Pocket Edition, rotate and flip are no such commands, so you can't use those, so I'm just going to move over here, and it will be pasted in the same direction as that. And it should be pasted right in front of me, because that's where I copied it from. So, paste. What was it, dragon? And then you have to put the G as well. I don't know what it's for, but it has to be there. Here we go. Okay, I must have spelled it wrong. Okay, where was it? Oh, I forgot the R when I spelled it, so poop my bad. We'll try it again. Paste. Dragon, I guess. And then put the G right in front of it, just like that. And those are the basics of world edit that you can use on the Elite server so far. My favorite, I would say, is the mixture of commands that I showed you earlier. And looks like he's copying it as well. But Thanks so much for guys for watching. Like and subscribe. I'm in love with the shape of you.